welcome to pks classes we have already completed the general pharmacology and today we will start nervous system and you know a system consists of organs and organs consists of tissues and uh, tissues consists of cells so when we say nervous nervous system we can divide it into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system central nervous system we call it cns and peripheral nervous system we call it pns and why central because it controls and it includes the brain and spinal cord okay and the periphery that means the cells the cells of the nervous system are the neurons which is the functional cell main cell and neuroglia which is the supporting cell okay so these cells are distributed in the periphery and this again can be divided into autonomic autonomic nervous system or ans and somatic nervous system or sns okay and this is uh, differentiated on the basis of this is autonomic is involuntary it is without our control and somatic is voluntary it is under our conscious control okay for example your biceps you can contract or relax the skeletal muscle so that is somatic whereas the heart rate we cannot control if we run fast automatically the heart rate will increase and if we take rest automatically the heart rate will decrease so that is involuntary as so first let us uh, draw the diagram so we have the brain and spinal cord say so this is the cerebrum then we have mid brain pons veroli then medulla oblongata and these three together known as brain stem this is the cerebellum and this is the spinal cord so this part is your brain and then spinal cord brain and spinal cord together is known as the central nervous system okay and from the central nervous system neurons are uh, passing through and from brain the neurons are called cranial nerves and these are 12 pair of cranial nerves okay and the spinal cord the nerves are called spinal nerves and there are 31 pair of spinal nerves and they can be divided into cervical c1 to c8 eight pairs then we have thoracic t1 to t12 so 12 pairs then lumbar l1 to l5 i pairs similarly sacral again s1 to s5 i pairs and finally oxygen 
become coccyx. So all these together are 31 pairs. Okay. And the neurons originate from this uh, central nervous system, say spinal cord, from spinal cord neurons originate and then they go to different parts, organs, say it, it, is, it is going to heart. Okay. And there are areas from which many neurons go and this we can say the group of neurons or the cell bodies and this is called ganglion and plural is ganglia okay and this group of neurons this is outside cns and if this thing happens in a inside CNS then this is called group of cell bodies and this is called nucleus and plural is nuclei. So group of cell bodies you see the neurons uh, consist of cell body axon and axon terminal. So this is group of cell bodies outside CNS ganglion inside CNS is this is called nucleus and this axon part this axon part is uh, mm, known as nerve fiber so outside CNS it is called nerve fiber this is also a nerve fiber and inside CNS this is called tract so if we call for example spino thalamic tract that means spinal cord and thalamus is connected by this axon and this axon is called the tract tract is nothing but the axon so we have discussed what is tract what is nerve fiber nerve fiber is axon outside cns that is in the periphery we have discussed ganglion and the nucleus ganglion is outside the cns and the nucleus is inside the CNS, this is group of cell bodies. So next, we will discuss the cells of nervous system. In our next class, we will discuss neuron. Thank you.